What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brew It All Planet Comics. I'm your host, Dre, the Brew Daniels. Happy Friday to you all. Hope you had a fantastic week. Oh, da lolly. Yesterday was a fever pitch. X Men 97 trailer dropped, and everybody went crazy. And then people start looking into it, and then theories, and dare to dare to dare. Then the official websites are saying usual crap, attacking the fans, yada 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 yada. I've come to set the record straight. Let's make a couple of things perfectly clear. There is a holy trinity of animated cartoons of that time period. It's Batman the Animated Series, Spider-Man the Animated Series, and X-Men the Animated Series. Oh, yeah! The fans of these franchises you cannot screw with because they will be on you like white on rice. And it's gonna, it, ah, man, just from the trailer, people are losing their cookies, okay? So, look, I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna talk about um, what I thought about the trailer. I'm gonna get, go into the, these controversies, this nonsense. I'm gonna get all into it. So, everybody, a rant is incoming. Hold on to your butts. Okay, first and foremost, let's talk about this trailer. Um, it would be disingenuous. For any of us that are X-Men fans to say that this did not give you warm and feelies in the Tum Tum, okay? All of this reeked of old school X-Men. To say anything else is a lie. And like we can all say, oh, we know it's gonna be bad when it's gonna we can say whatever we want. The reality is this trailer was a whole lot of fun. I love the animation style. Um, I love how we're just picking up from where we left off. There's a lot of good stuff going on in this trailer. Magneto looks great. Um, I I'm actually interested in what these stories could be told in regards to what's going on with the X-Men. Just look at this. This looks like we haven't missed a day. So, of course, Norman Spencer is no longer with us. Um, which is, you know, he was the original voice of Cyclops. So, of course, the voices sound a little different and all that stuff. And it sucks that he's not here to experience this, to see this come back to life. So, I just want to quantify that. And that kind of sucks. That makes my heart bleed. But, you know, moving on. Um, But, look, the animation looks great. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Like, imagine if we had this 25, 30 years ago. You know what I mean? Like, it looks really, really cool. We got some type of arc. Now we're gonna, you know, let me let me let me let this run here. Okay, we 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 got to talk about this. Okay, this looks cool. It's not debatable. This looks freaking fantastic. All right, but here's the nerd in me. All right, <laughs> Gambit uses kinetic energy to make things explode. All right. So Wolverine's claws are either going to explode upon contact, which this animantum, so probably not, or it's going to be major blowback and he flies across the, the city. All right, so that's just nerd in me showing. I don't know. Maybe they never watched the show, the new creators. Maybe they never watched it, but that's not how his powers work. Okay, that's just nerd in me. All right, let's keep going. All right. So, but other than that, yo, that scene looks cool. All of this looks cool. I am legitimately excited to to see this. You know, it looks really freaking cool, and I, I and it, it, it's not debatable. It's not debatable. Okay, so like I said on the offset, brothers and sisters, this looks amazing. Now let's get to the not so fun stuff. You know the usual attack the fans, blah 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 thing. Now look, X Men updates. I think this is legitimate. I'm pretty sure they are. I got the blue check mark and all that other great stuff. And they're going to be talking about the Morph's characterization. Now Morph was a character created specifically for the X Men TV show, so they can kill somebody off, so they can push a story forward in the very first episode. And it was heart wrenching and gut punching, literally, <laughs> for Scott Summers, a punch to the gut. But yeah, but later on this in further seasons, he comes back as he's being tortured by Mr. Sinister and all other great stuff. And he blames the X-Men for leaving him behind. It's a really, really a lot of meat on their bone. And, and when we last time we see him, he's dealing with a lot of PTSD and a lot of problems. So here's an update. It says that Mars Corporation X-Men 97 is a lighter take on the character. Let's pause right there. There shouldn't be. We should be tackling where we left off at. 
Morph was a major piece on getting the character of the whole story moving forward. We don't need a lighter character. We need to see where things go from there. Huh. And then this is where a lot of people are losing their minds. Is that who is non-binary? I don't know what that means. I I really don't care. I I don't know what that means. And has an interesting buddy relationship with with Wolverine. I don't know if that's code for something. I I, I don't want to dig into it. It's probably just make me upset. But here's the kicker. My issue isn't with any of that stuff that I don't understand. My issue is with storytelling. My issue is with. We're making fundamental changes to this character when this is an exact continuation from where we left off. That's where my problem comes in. Oh, yeah, and of course they say if Morph being non binary makes you angry, you clearly don't know what X-Men stand for. Look, uh, look. Nobody I, cares! Once again, I don't know what that means. So that does not make me angry. My problem is that there's no character. And, and, and can we stop attacking the fans for just disagreeing with character direction? Even if it is about the non-binary thing, nah. why attack them? Why is they, hey, like, I remember a time we can just disagree without it being, you're a ist or a foe. Like, no, we don't like what you're presenting. And I, I just had to, I just had to get that out there. Like, stop attacking your customers. <laughs> whatever, whatever. And of course, the next big thing is pretty much the defeminization of Rogue. Which, once again, I come from a time where beautiful women were beautiful women, not amalgamations of dudes. So, I understand exactly where people are coming from. When you compare the two images, one looks like a beautiful woman at, at her peak, and the other one looks like... I, I don't... I don't... I don't... Well, I know what it's called. It's called trash. I don't know. I don't know. And, and, and it's not about... Um, sexualization of women and stuff like that people like looking at beautiful people I, I i that's never been not true throughout all of history people like looking at beautiful people magazines that's how you sell stuff products on the internet products on tv beautiful people sell things so the idea that you're going to take somebody that is historically in animation beautiful and has been a fan favorite for many years and is cosplayed by many beautiful women over the years and then immediately you know defeminize her you know, it's it's going to spark up some stuff. Now, learning the law says the absolute state of Western industry expressed in Rogue's X-Men 97 for the modern audience. Erase your feminine features. Check. Block any attractiveness. Check. Inclusion on necessary identity politics. We know that's coming. No respect for source material. We already know what it is. Now, that's the reality. We know this is coming. So I'm not going to say why be upset. I exam. Look, look, you should be upset because something you loved is once again being stripped away and being used for modern audiences, whatever that means. So I, I get I, I get you folks. I'm 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 there with you. Like I I get it. And I know this is tough for everybody. But do you know what does stick to its source material? Another seamless transition. Trouble the rhythm within is still in demand on Indiegogo. I will leave a link in the description section below. I would love you guys to check it out. You guys are fan freaking tastic. So ultimately, what do I think about the X-Men 97 trailer? Do I think it's a bait and switch? Of course! I'm, I am I have to be honest. I enjoyed the trailer. I thought the trailer got me hyped. I, I, I got nostalgia bites all over my arm and everything. Now... Do we know where this is going? Yes, we do. All those folks that are just wanting to have a faithful adaptation to what was uh, 25 years ago, it's not going to happen, guys. It's not going to happen. The <sighs> modern audience chase is going to destroy this. There, there might be some good episodes in between here and there. And for those that always say, like, oh, X-Men's always been woke. No, no, it hasn't. It was a reflection of the world that was actually in front of them. They, they, the original creation of this was based off of, <clears throat> excuse me, Stan Lee's experience of his life during that time. This isn't about woke and changing people and blah, 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 blah. This was always a series about tolerance. What does that mean? That means you have your view. I have my view, but let's still coexist. That is the point of the X-Men. It's not about always agreeing. It's not about indoctrination. 
it's about accepting folks and their lifestyle and choices while also maintaining the respect for your own that is what the x-men is not changing characters fundamentally or blah 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 or destroying the male gaze yada 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 no this is about tolerance of the highest degree and if anybody i don't care where you sit on the aisle doesn't understand that then you do not understand x-men so what do you guys think about x-men i know it was a longer video i had to get all this stuff off my chest this was all building all yesterday let me know in the comment section below and do all those great youtube things like comment subscribe and share the video as always you guys have been awesome i'll catch you all next time